So if you open up StatCrunch and if you open up the tracheal resection data set, you'll see that you have a, a StatCrunch data set that has several columns to it. Now the first column in your data set is just your patient ID. And you'll notice that your patient ID actually just matches the row number that you're with. So it's just an accounting process to keep track of what patient you're talking about. Then we have the other five variables that we just discussed. Now, you'll notice down at the bottom that there is a brief description of your data set, which is essentially the text that was in the self-practice problem. And if you look, it tells you that for a nominal variable, a value of zero represents no, while one represents yes. So for those variables that we discussed that were nominal in nature, if you have a zero, that means they do not possess that characteristic, while a one means that they do possess that characteristic. Now, the two variables that we were going to focus on were um, whether or not the patient had had a prior surgery and the age at the most current surgery. So if you had looked at the report, the result that I chose to use to summarize the prior surgery variable was a pie chart. So again, the pie chart instructions are posted on StatCrunch. It's through your graphics menu. And we want to create a pie chart for the prior surgery variable. So I need to click on that variable, which pulls it into my gray box, and then I can create my graph. Again, be sure that you put an appropriate title on your pie chart. Now, in order to save this and use it in a report, you must export it to My Results. So if we click Options and Export to My Results, we can save our pie chart, but again, be sure that you give it a descriptive title. You need to especially know which practice problem this is associated with. So for example, the, practice, the title that I'm going to give this result is the following. So I'm going to include that it was self-practice problem 1-3 and that I created a pie chart for the prior surgery variable. You can include any notes that you might want to. For right now, I'm just going to click Export. And that pie chart will be successfully saved in the My Results section for this data set. Now, the other variable that we wanted to discuss was we want to discuss their age at surgery. So since age was an interval ratio variable, we'll use a histogram to summarize that. Again, we need to click on this variable. And if you click Next several times, you can add a, his a title to your histogram. If we click Create Graph, the histogram will appear. And again, since I want to include that output in my report, I want to export that histogram to my results. Again, give it a, a very descriptive title. So we have self-practice problem 1-3. And in this case, we have a histogram for the age at surgery. And if we click Export, you'll see your histogram appears in your My Results section. Now, what we would like to do now is we'd like to create a, a report that summarizes the results that we have and includes these results in our text. So if we go back to My Stat Crunch, you can go to My Reports, and you can create a new report. So in our case, we have a summary of tracheal resections. And you'll notice that I'm also going to include that this was self-practice problem 1-3. It just helps you keep track of what you've created. <clears throat> now, if you choose, you can share this report with either one of the groups that you're enrolled in. The benefit of this is it lets others see your solution, they can make comments on it, and additionally, you'll be able to see other solutions that are posted. Now, what we'd like to do next is we'd like to include some text in the body of our report. 
So the text that we've included here is a basic summary of what the problem was. And if you compare this text to the text that was reported in self-practice problem 1-3, you'll see striking similarities. That's perfectly okay. We're just trying to summarize what data was collected. Now, specifically, what I'm going to focus on is the following. So the results that I'm going to present summarize the percentage of patients who have undergone at least one previous surgery and the age at which that surgery was performed. Now, at this point, I would like to present the pie chart that summarizes the previous surgery, discuss its components, and then present the histogram. To do this, if you scroll down to the bottom of your page, you see that you can attach results to your report. So this is where your descriptive titles will come in handy. So the first result that I would like to talk about is self-practice problem 1-3, our pie chart. So I'm going to select that as result 1, and you'll see that your pie chart will now appear. The second result that I'd like to talk about is the histogram that was created for self-practice problem 1-3. Selecting that, your histogram will appear. Now, I'd like to embed those within the text of my report. So after I told you the results that I were going to present, I'd like to have the picture of the pie chart next. To insert that, the pie chart was selected as result 1. So what you need to type is you need the less than sign, result 1, with no space, followed by the greater than sign. That's going to embed that result within your text once your report is saved. Now, with our pie chart inserted, I can start discussing what I see in that pie chart. So from this first result, here are the uh, conclusion that I'm able to draw. So from the pie chart presented, we see that almost 75% of the patients in the sample had not undergone a resection previously. Now, the second result that we'd like to summarize is we'd also like to summarize the distribution for their age. So to do that, we need to include our age histogram, which is saved as result 2. So to insert that image into the text, I'm going to type carrots around result 2. And again, we'd like to summarize that histogram using the criteria that we discussed in the notes. So here's what your summary would look like. When we discuss the histogram, there's four criteria that we're going to discuss, the first being the shape of our histogram. So in this case, we can see that the distribution of ages is skewed to the left. Now, what that implies is the bulk of the procedures were performed on older patients. And if you look at the histogram that you created, you see that your tallest bars occur between 50 and 70 years of age. So we're going to say that it seems the typical age for the surgery was around 60. But one thing that you might note is that doesn't take into account whether you had a previous surgery or not. The minimum age was somewhere between 0 and 10 years old, while the maximum age was somewhere between 80 and 90 years old. Without more specific statistics that describe this data set, you can't be more concrete than that. In the histogram that we've collected, there were no unusual observations that stuck out, so that's the last comment that you'll make. Now, at the bottom of the page, once you have your text in, you can choose to save your report. So when you save your report, what you're going to see is You'll see the text that we just typed, but now your pie chart is embedded within the report, as is your histogram. So what you've created is a nice, concise report that summarizes a data set that was posted. Now, after you have your report created, if you decide that you would like to share it with groups, you can come to your report properties and edit it, and you can choose to share it with the group that you're enrolled in, which means that others will be allowed to see your report, I can see your report, and I can make comments on what you've included. If you have any additional questions on working with reports in StatCrunch, please let me know. Um, there are also videos within StatCrunch that help with some of the report uh, writing capabilities, um, so hopefully we'll be able to get everything figured out.